Professor, explain why your 150 number is so hot right now in Silicon Valley for these social networks. Well, I guess the answer is, uh, uh, you know, it, it limits the uh, range of, uh, if you like, penetration on, on, on networks that you can possibly have. I mean, you, you can know more people in the sense of uh, recognizing their faces. You know, President Obama is somebody you'd recognize on the street, but you don't have a meaningful relationship with him. And so the kind of people that you would really spend your time talking to on Facebook or, or, or anything like that really is limited to a very, very small number of individuals. So if we only have 150 meaningful relationships in our lives, give us a real life example of how companies there in Silicon Valley are using this number and this information. Okay, so one example of this is Path, which was set up uh, about, eight, I guess, about 18 months or so ago, um, specifically to target um, that age group, I guess, uh, who now had children, who wanted to put their, let's say, their photographs of their uh, uh, children in kindergarten or, 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 or junior school uh, on the web where their friends could see them, but they didn't want everybody in the world to be able to see them. So what PATH did was kind of um, limit the number of uh, contacts you can have uh, to 150. And I guess they don't force mm. you to make new contacts, which of course is what uh, Facebook in particular has tried to do. Yeah. Professor Dunbar, I know it's an issue at Oxford. What is your study of anthropology in this modern technological age? What does it say about our attention span? Have they really shortened as we've seen the internet come on? I mean, we're a long way from the slide rule of uh, 30, 40 years ago. Sure. Uh, technology is a wonderful thing, and there's no mistake about it. Uh, and, and in fact, you know, it, it depends what your purpose is. If, if you want to uh, uh, advertise some product or something, clearly um, uh, social networking sites and uh, the, the Internet generally are, are very, very powerful tools <clears throat> for that. But if it's about your, your, your friendships, that's a different matter. And it seems that our capacity to handle large numbers of uh, individuals in mm -hmm. kind of meaningful relationships really is very limited.